that break was a little bit longer than I intended, but it was very enjoyable. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, my name is Tanika and I just got married. For the next five days, I am going to have wedding related uploads, starting with this Q&A and just a general chat about the day. I want to go over some regrets and some things that I think are a must have for a wedding day. Then I will have three vlogs. So all this footage that I have been filming from when I started planning to postponing to starting again, three vlogs, all of that footage. And then I will end the week with a makeup tutorial on my wedding day makeup look. I did end up doing my makeup myself. This is the look here. So I will have a tutorial on that to finish everything up. So first things first, let's just do a brief overview of the day. It was amazing. Like it was such a special day and I am so happy with how everything come together and just how everything went. Of course, there were a few little hiccups, but nothing that was going to ruin my day. So we got married at a venue called Yabalumba Retreat and it is up in the Sunshine Coast hinterland between Mullaney and Kenilworth. It's a private property and they have an event company that runs the weddings out there. We loved the venue when we first saw it. It was absolutely beautiful, big and spacious and it had that rustic vibe that we were after. So we did get to stay on the property on the Friday night and the Saturday night and then we got to hang around on Sunday morning as well for as long as we wanted. We had a barbecue with the guests that also stayed on the property. So I really enjoyed that aspect. A lot of other venues we looked at, you needed to be in and out within a very short period of time. Some venues were even like everything needs to be packed up and gone by 10 p.m. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> So overall, we're really, really happy with our venue choice and it couldn't have looked any better. I did ask you guys on Instagram and in my YouTube community tab if you had any questions. So I'll get into those in a second. But firstly, I just want to go over some of the things that I think are worth having and some regrets. First things first, I think you really need to invest in photography and videography. We haven't actually got our full album back from the photographer yet, but the sneak peeks that he did send us was so amazing. Videography is something that is quite expensive and a lot of people don't know if it's worth it. But for me, I'm very sentimental with photos and videos. So it was something I definitely wanted to spend the money on. Again, we don't have that back yet, but I am sure it is going to be absolutely amazing. We chose to have our vows as the like voiceover for the video. And then we're doing the speeches as a separate edit and a separate video. The photographer and videographer we chose are two separate companies, but they actually had a package where they worked together. So we did end up getting our photography and videography for just under $6,000. It's very expensive and you can definitely find cheaper, but as I said, I'm very sentimental when it comes to photos and videos and just looking through different photographers work. I just, some of it wasn't, what I would expect to get back from a wedding. You know, you want these photos to be beautiful, not just look like someone took them with their iPhone. So even though this was a very expensive part of the day, for me, it's something that is worth it. And I am just so excited to get the rest of the photos and the video back. Like, <laughs> Another thing that I think is worth having is a photo booth. Now we weren't considering this, but then our photographer said for a hundred dollars, just $100, you can add on a photo booth. So it wasn't like an enclosed one. He has a digital camera that's like set up in a box with an iPad attached to it and you just take photos. He's got props that he brings and looking back at these photos, it just, it's such a fun time and it gets your guests up and like interacting with each other and being silly and it was just, I really love it. And for hundred dollars, I'm very glad that we said yes to it. So if a photo booth is something you're considering for your wedding, I would definitely say do it. The next thing I think is definitely worth the investment is the venue. As you heard me rave before about our venue, it was definitely worth every single penny. The event company that runs the weddings are called L and L co events. And they literally organized everything. Our venue organizer was amazing. 
So they already had a catering company, they just give you the menus to go over. They had quite a few different options, whether you're doing a cocktail, cocktail? A cocktail style wedding or a sit down for the canapé time. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> we didn't go with canapes like on a tray being served around. We went for a grazing board. Now this option was taken away for us for a while with COVID, but it come back just in time. I hate when you go to weddings and you're like, where's the damn food? And you try to find snacks and they're all gone. So we thought that doing a grazing table would just be a great way for the guests to come up and feed themselves at their own time and pace. <laughs> And then for dinner, we chose to do share platters. So to each table came a platter of chicken. We also had a braised beef cheek, a platter of vegetables, and then a platter of like a potato salad. Again, I hate when you go to weddings and it's alternate drop and you get something that you're like, oh, I don't like this. So we really like the idea of the food just coming to the table and everyone kind of dipping in, taking what they want. To me, it gives more of that like family vibe as well because that's what me and my family do at dinner time but anyway i'm losing track a little bit but the point is to invest in your venue this wasn't just like hiring a regular venue we did get a lot of help from sarah from the events company she was there the day before setting up she was there on the day helping she was amazing and you get what you pay for so Paying for her and her service was definitely worth it. Now, I don't really have any major regrets on the day. I am really happy with all the vendors that we chose. The only thing I would change if I were to do it again is my schedule in the morning and making sure that my bridesmaids were ready first. The hairdresser did actually run a little bit late and there's no reception out there, so I couldn't contact her. So that was like a bit of a stress first thing in the morning. She ended up being half an hour late, which did push our schedule behind. And you might think it's only 30 minutes, but 30 minutes is very important on a wedding morning. <laughs> because we lost those 30 minutes and I had my bridesmaids getting their hair and makeup done kind of towards the end, because I also had my mom and my sisters there as well. So because I had them getting done kind of towards the end, when we were trying to get photos, like photos in our cute pajamas and then photos when we were ready, you know, Tennille's hair wasn't finished. I still had clips in my hair. It just really messed with the schedule. So if I could do it again, I would make sure my bridesmaids get their hair and makeup done first so that they are ready to go when it's photo time. All they have to do is get up and smile. Besides that, there's nothing else that I really regret. I feel like a lot of people say, oh, I wouldn't spend that much money on that or that much money on that. But even though we did spend a lot of money, I'm happy with it and I think it all turned out beautifully. I think that's something that you need to decide when you're planning your wedding what's worth the money and what's not. Something like flowers for example. I wasn't like too wound up on flowers. I obviously wanted to have a beautiful bouquet and the tables to look nice and we set ourselves a budget. We end up spending $3,000 on flowers which to me was pretty reasonable and to the florist as well. She was like that's that's a pretty low to average budget. <laughs> I know. The florist company we went with was called Willow Bud and they did an outstanding job. As I said, I wasn't too fussed on the flowers. I wasn't like, oh my God, I must have this particular type of flower. I just showed her the color of the bridesmaid dress that I'd chosen and kind of, you know, let her know the vibe. Like it's kind of more relaxed and rustic. And she just went with that and she freaking nailed it. I also felt as though I got a lot of value for money with her as well. The Arbor, for example, it was kind of an odd triangle shape and I just said, do whatever you think. Like, I don't want a particular design, just do what you think, flower bomb it. It looked beautiful. There were so many flowers on it and it looked so lush. And then Sarah, the event organizer, after the ceremony, she actually went over and took all those flowers down from the arbor, took them to the shed and set them up on our bridal table so that we were repurposing the flowers, which just amazing. My bouquet was beautiful and luscious, nice and big. And then my bridesmaids, I chose to have theirs a little bit smaller with not as many flowers and just a bit more foliage. And then for the centerpieces, I just said like, I don't know, do what you think. We actually went with round tables and the centerpieces were so much bigger than what I thought. They were absolutely beautiful. I feel like I've gone completely off track again and I don't even know why I started talking about the flowers. So 
<laughs> Let's just get into some of the questions I got from you guys. Okay, I'll go with this question first and it actually reminds me of what I was talking about. <laughs> the total cost, what was worth it and what wasn't? So as I said, I don't really have any regrets on what we spent money on. I think that everything was kind of worth the money, really. Overall, we did spend over $40,000, which makes me sick and is not at all the budget we originally had in mind. But what I found was once you start getting quotes, it just, it just adds up. Because how do you plan a wedding? How do you plan something you've never planned before and you set a budget and you don't know how much anything costs? Obviously, we could have gone for cheaper options, but we liked what we liked and we wanted to do it. Now, our parents both did chip in a bit, but we mostly paid for the rest of it. We didn't go and get a loan. We just saved hard and paid for it. And I definitely think it was worth every penny. Next, you want to hear more about the location and the decor that we chose. So I think I've spoken enough about the location, a little bit more on the decor. Again, this was all included in our venue package. So Sarah just said to me, send me inspo pics of what you like. I'll get it for you. It's like, damn. So in the shed, it already had like fairy lights all on the roof, which was absolutely beautiful. And then as I said, we went with round tables. We did get an option of our cutlery color and our napkin color. So napkins, I went for that really rusty kind of earthy brownie tone, similar to the bridesmaids dresses. And then we chose a gold cutlery to go on top. In the center of the table, we had a flower arrangement. And then Sarah just decorated around that with tall candles. She even went, like I didn't even ask her to do this, but she just went and found like those tall skinny candles in that rusty orangey color and had them on the tables as well. So it looked absolutely beautiful. And I just wasn't really crazy about that. Like I must have it like this, this, and this. I was like, you just, like Sarah does this every weekend. I'm like, you you do it and I'll tell you if I like it. <laughs> the shed was located right next to like a big dam. And when you watch the vlogs and you see the venue, oh, you're just going to be blown away. It was absolutely beautiful and just everything we wanted. It had that rustic vibe, but it was also very elegant. Next question is, what was my favorite thing to plan for the wedding? I don't know. Hey, it's just, it's stressful. Like it's really, really stressful planning a wedding. You were just thrown into organizing so much, organizing this huge event. Like when, when am I normally planning an event for 50 people? Like I'm not. So to be thrown into it and it's just a lot. But I think my favorite part would have to be wedding dress shopping. That was a really special moment and it's just fun. It is so fun trying on beautiful gowns and just feeling like a princess. <laughs> Besides that, I don't think I really like overly enjoyed wedding planning, trying to find different vendors, trying to see if they're available on your date. People are booked out so far in advance. Like you do all this research and find someone you like and then they're like, oh, I'm booked. Ah, back to the start. Like, yeah, I didn't particularly enjoy a lot of it, um, but I must say I'm very organized and that was a major help. Lists, lists, lists. Like you got to have lists. You got to have spreadsheets. If you want to keep your head just a little bit sane, you got to do it. <laughs> I think planning the flowers was also something that I enjoyed because it didn't take up too much of my energy or brain space because I just gave her my ideas and she went with it. So. That was, that was good. <laughs> Next question wants to know about my wedding makeup, my prep, self-care routine. So in my tutorial that's coming at the end of the week, I'll obviously go over my entire makeup routine and let you know everything that I used. But leading up to the wedding, I didn't really do any extra prep than what I normally do. So I went and got my brows waxed. I didn't get them tinted because every time I get them tinted, they're really dark and I was... I didn't want that. So I went and got my brows waxed. I got my lashes tinted. Um, I actually went and got my teeth whitened, which is something I don't normally do, but I thought, let's give it a go. I didn't go and get any facials or anything like that. I have quite a good skincare routine that I enjoy and it works for me. So I just stuck to that. I did make sure a few weeks leading up to the wedding though, I was like 
pretty good with my diet because for me, if I eat a lot of shitty food, it shows in my skin. So I tried to make sure I was eating as best as I could to prevent breakouts. <laughs> All right, I feel like I've been filming and talking for a while. So last question is, what was my favorite part of the day? Oh my God, so many, like, oh, it was just so fun. But it would definitely be walking down the aisle to Clinton. It's gonna make me cry. <laughs> my mum walked me down the aisle and just having her do that was so special because she's a single mom of six kids, like, I'm her first child, I'm her first child to get married, so it was just such a special moment having her do that and she has a really good relationship with Clinton as well, so it was just really special. And then as we're walking down the aisle, I looked at Clinton and his head was in his hands and he was crying and it was just like that made me lose it. Like I was smiling and happy and excited and then I saw that and I like instant tears it still makes me cry. <laughs> so I think that was definitely my favorite part of the day, walking down the aisle to him and then getting there and just holding his hands and looking at him like, oh my God, like this is actually happening. Like what the hell? <laughs> the whole ceremony was probably just my favorite part of the day. Saying our vows and hearing Clinton's vows was really special. Um, I remember at one point I looked over at my two brothers and they both just had tears in their eyes and it was just, oh, I just filled my heart with love but I had to look away because I couldn't look at them crying. So I was like, oh, I've got to cry. But yeah, I just say the ceremony in general was definitely my favorite part of the day. And it just, I just remember walking down the aisle and just looking around at everyone and looking out when I was standing up there and just seeing all the people that love us and care about us and seeing their smiling faces, it just, it brings a lot of love and joy to your heart. All right, well, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and listening about our wedding day. If you have any other questions, just leave them below and I'll get straight back to you. I hope that you are excited for my week of wedding uploads. I am so excited to share them with you. I have just been watching them like nonstop. <laughs> reliving the day and I cannot wait to get my photos and video back and when I do of course I'll be sharing them as well all right well thank you all so much for watching if you're new here make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on wedding week you can also come and follow me over on Instagram I'll have my name on the screen for you now and I hope to see you all in the next one bye